Before the music videos that showed off her magnetic voice and personality, before the sold-out cross-country tours, Sierra Farrell made her living busking in places like Pike Place Market. I always think about the noises of the market and the smells of the market, good and bad. A few hours before playing to a sold-out crowd at the Neptune Theater, Sierra wanted to visit her old stomping grounds. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Where six years earlier, she played her first gig in Seattle. So this spot right here is whenever I first got to town and I had my backpack and my dog and I wasn't sure what to do or where I was going. And so I just kind of posted up over here on this musical note and sat on my backpack and played. <laughs> Made about $300 that day. Being on the streets busking, it's very humbling. The people that come and see you, they're not expecting to see you, so therefore, you're not gonna always have everyone's attention. Now, Sierra's very much the center of attention, with vintage-inspired looks that have made her a fashion icon. and a sound that runs the gamut from country to Appalachian folk to swing and beyond. I feel like just as human beings, we kind of gravitate towards things that just speak to us. And I feel like that's where I get a lot of my music interest is just by having a vast vocabulary of music and just listening to all different styles, regardless of what it is really sometimes. Now living in Nashville, she's already played the Grand Ole Opry, but don't expect Sierra to go all out country. She wants to surprise her audience and make them feel welcome, the way Seattle made her feel so many years ago. I want people to just love themselves in a world so full of hate, the most rebellious thing you can do is love yourself and love other people. I want people to feel emotional. I want people to cry. It's okay to cry. Yeah, I just want people to be free. Ooh.